2023 is already shaping up to be a great year for gaming and it's only month three. With plenty of games to look forward to this year, I thought I would take some time to look back at some already released cozy games that you can play right now, including a couple of hidden gems you may have missed. Starting with Railbound. This is a cozy little puzzle game in which you lay out rail tracks so the train carriages can reach their intended destination off the train. There is a small story revolving around the dog train conductors, however it takes a backseat to the puzzles and is told through a set of images that you unlock as you play through the game. With a charming presentation style and relaxed soundtrack, it is an easy way to spend a few hours. Now some of the puzzles can get more difficult and take more time to solve but as the game has been out for a little while you can easily find guides online to help you through. Making this a perfect addition to your cozy game collection. I truly believe Wavetail is a hidden gem from last year. It is far from perfect but has this cozy aesthetic with the pastel colours and the gliding as you ride across the water all feels smooth and relaxing. The gameplay is a light platforming mixed with some combat. The combat itself is very generous with hit points so at no point I was ever concerned I wouldn't be able to defeat all the enemies. Wavetail also has a sweet story even if the ending didn't quite hit the mark for me. That said, I enjoyed this game so much I even went back and finished the four challenges to get the platinum trophy on PlayStation. I'm not normally a trophy hunter, but I truly wanted to ensure I completed all aspects of this game. Also, it is only around four hours long, so it is perfect for an afternoon or two of cozy gaming. Moving on to something more well known with Dragon Quest Treasures. This is a spin-off from the classic Dragon Quest formula with action combat and an exploration focus. As the title suggests, the point of the game is to find treasures across the world. It is aimed at a younger audience, making it perfect for the cozy genre as it has an easygoing feel to it and having your companion monsters not only in combat but on the world map with you makes it even more fun. At first, Teenykin may draw comparisons to Pikmin. You play as an astronaut who finds himself in a cluttered house on planet Earth with zero humans in sight. Instead, each room is infested with an array of insects that quickly need your help to find rewards. These rewards will help prepare your spaceship so you can return home. A lot like in Pikmin where you land on this planet and you have to find the parts to fix your spaceship. However, that is where the comparisons to Pikmin stop. Tinykin is a collectathon and a very rewarding one at that. There are no battles and the gameplay revolves around solving puzzles with the help of the Teamykin. One to make sure you check out if you enjoy 3D platformers and collectathons. There is nothing more rewarding than cleaning up something and Power Wash Simulator provides that in a video game. As the title suggests, you use a power washer to wash away dirt and grime off objects whether that be a kid's playground or a motorbike. It is a zen game that is perfect to unwind with. With simple gameplay and no pressure, it surprised me how much I enjoyed playing it. I've spent hours making sure everything is cleaned 100%. Rhythm games are one of my comfort genres and nothing has cozier vibes than melatonin. It is a pastel washed game that provides unique rhythm gameplay. The levels mix the characters' dreams with reality, merging them together, with simple tutorials and plenty of variety within each of the levels. The hand-drawn art style is also delightful and the music is vibrant. The difficulty varies per level with some a breeze to get all the stars, whilst others I struggled through a little bit more. Overall, it is a solid rhythm game and one to check out if you like the cozy genre and the rhythm game genre. Floofy's Adventure is a game I'm sure most of you watching have never heard of. Honestly, I just picked this one up one day after seeing it on the PlayStation Digital Store. It is an adorable twin stick shooter that clearly has had a lot of love put into it. You play as a cat who pilots a spaceship traveling across different worlds to save your friends. The art style is perfect and each area has its own distinct personality. As an added bonus, the game can also be played in co-op. A space for the Unbound is incredible. It plays as an interactive visual novel following the story of a high schooler in Indonesia during the 90s. It has a beautiful pixel art that helps transport you into the world as you explore the town. Now it is more of a story-driven game, so if you're not into that, it may not be for you. 
but it definitely has a lot of cozy vibes, including the fact that you can pet the cats within the game. Now this next one is one I played as it was included in the game's catalogue of PlayStation Plus. Not sure if it's still there, but this one is Omno. It is a gorgeous looking 3D platforming puzzle game. I did not find any of the puzzles too challenging, and I was able to finish the game in around 4 hours. It is a simple game which you collect orbs to open up a new area. One downfall is that the story at the end was a little confusing. I perhaps missed the deeper meaning of the main character's decision right at the end. However, the game is very calming and cozy and I'm glad I played through it. So there you have it, some cozy games that you may have missed in the past. As always, share your cozy game recommendations in the comments and I'll see you in the next video. Bye bye!